Hi, Agnesh. So, um, this is the maximum light I, that I can achieve at this point of time. Sorry, yes. so sorry about that. Uh, so, Agnesh, we can get started. There are only three questions that I want to ask. Number one, how did your journey actually start again with respect to getting into the field of data science? Uh, so, yeah, uh, I had a job uh, before this. Uh, I can't share the name of the organization. So it was COVID days. So uh, uh, I had COVID, I was found out uh, COVID positive and uh, I couldn't complete my assessment. So uh, I got fired. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So then it was like, uh, like after graduation, it, it, I had nothing to do. So I started uh, uh, learning on my own and uh, it wasn't that like, we don't have that uh, guidance, right? Uh, when you learn on, on your own. So I found a like uh, advertisement on Instagram to, you can start your career with uh, data science and journey, artificial intelligence and deep learning. So I've connected with one of the salesperson and uh, she have introduced uh, me to the course uh, that we have in 360 Digital MG. Uh, me and my friend, uh, we uh, both uh, uh, landed with the course uh, Artificial Intelligence and Deep Learning. And uh, yeah, that's how my uh, journey started with the data science. Wonderful, wonderful, Agnesh. So Agnesh, our training, our, our uh, meeting was scheduled on Saturday but you are occupied. That in itself is a proof that you are working uh, extensively in the field of data science, right? Yes. So, yeah, absolutely. I'm extremely happy about that. Thank you. And Agnesh, Agnesh was having the heart enough to say that he was uh, fired from his company. And despite that, he had the courage, he had the heart to pursue the career, which many people feel that it's a covert career that anyone can have. And that's in the field of data science. Absolutely. Wonderful. Yes. Absolutely. Adding on that, uh, it was like, uh, it's not like uh, if someone has, uh, someone is poor in mathematics can, can't do it and all. I I had like, uh, I don't know about, but uh, I had six maths in maths in 12th. Ah, look at that. That's a perfect example, Agnes. A lot of people feel that they should be from math background, they should be from programming background to be get, uh, to, to get into the, uh, this field of data science. But you have proved them wrong by saying that you are extremely low marks in the field of data science. Despite, uh, sorry, in the, in the field of math. No. Despite that, you got into this field of data science with your grit and determination. That is what matters, right? I'm extremely happy about it, right? And again, uh, did you work on the live project? Yes, I am working on live project. It's been, I've been. How did that actually help you, again to gain confidence? Uh, so uh, we actually worked together on a project in uh, 360 digit only. So it was a project on uh, we were used to uh, we build a chatbot AI chatbot uh, using Haystack. So it helped me like uh, after that only after fifteen or twenty days after I got a call from Infosys to have an interview with them, and uh, I explained them that uh, this is the situation I can't uh, state to what I'm doing, but uh, I have been using Haystack tool and I've been working on that. So they were impressed that you're working on live. Uh, project and all so the yes the moment it, you spoke about a stack they would have understood that it's a real world project agree agnesh yes yeah and a lot of our people who have worked on that project currently are working as senior data scientists or lead data scientists yes right so that means itself is a proof that when you work on real world projects it gives you that immense command immense confidence to crack any interview on the plan. Right. Okay. Agnesh, given this, I have a third question for you, which is a final question. Uh, 
uh, what is the one single suggestion that you would give to all of our uh, people who are getting trained to us on how do you get into this field of data science so it's it's not like you can't do that and it's a big word data science right we have uh, uh, like six months of course and you'll have to achieve this much and you'll have to uh, cover a lot of background like a programming language like python and then the machine learning things and uh, data data science course the whole course is very huge it's not like that that you'll have to be uh, really concerned about that it will take time and what if i won't get it because uh, same happens with me i i got in i i was not getting anything for like for uh, two months i was not getting anything the best thing uh, i found that uh, we can redo the trainings right so i've done it twice first time i didn't get that much but second time yeah i uh, i was good at that and then i i felt confident the second time i was uh, solving the assessment and all so it's not like that uh, i mean that uh, i can't do it or it will be uh, too much for me that uh, that attitude is not going to help them uh, cuz you can do it again and again and at some point you will get it and uh, you will find interest in that as long as you are interested in it so yeah that's absolutely agree so you know a lot of our students who get in touch with me they say that uh, you know when i attended the training for the second time i was able to grasp a lot of concepts exactly what you have explained yes right and that is what i will tell to any student who is undergoing your training a few people will have a very good iq levels the moment you listen you will absorb a few people will have a mediocre iq levels a few people will have weak iq levels that means they'll have to probably attend the training twice or thrice to be able to grasp the concepts but ultimately that person would be successful who would cross the finish line yes who would uh, understand all the concepts right and you have actually done it and uh, i still remember um you know the day when i went to uh, give my sister who was getting graduated in infosys she joined as a fresher there was there, there was some uh, you know training that were going on and uh, until unless she gets 60% she would not clear the finish line i mean they would let go people who get less than 60 yeah, final assessment for mysore campus right yeah and i went there i gave her all the you know uh eatables that my mother has made for her and then i came back i was uh, then working with hsbc then i joined itc infotech then i joined infosys and then while i was with infosys i went to mysore campus infosys campus to audit the projects nice to audit whether data related projects data warehouse business intelligence project were they delivered in line with the process that was defined or not at mysore campus i was working with gpms group project managers and dms delivery managers and i enjoyed that role a lot because it was just giving me those memories that uh you know until unless you cross the finish line you will not be able to do your best you will not be able to deliver your best right and i foresee that uh, agnesh has done an amazing job in terms of uh, crossing the finish line despite being fired by a specific company and hats off agnes for that you Thank know you. i have huge huge respect for you huge respect for you right i guess no you. doubt about that and uh, at any given point of time agnes if you feel that i can be of any help for you i'll be more than happy to intervene right uh, given that context all the best for your career and agnes is saying that the grit and determination that you are going to have is going to determine your future so don't lose your focus friends keep your track on and agnesh is an uh, is a perfect example 
on how you can achieve the best of the best. Right. Thank you so much, Agnesh, and I'm looking forward to meet you. Where are you located in Hyderabad? I'm from Maharashtra. 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 Where are you working in? Injanwadi. No, from Nagpur. I'm working. Working from Nagpur. Yeah. So it's still work from home, is it? It's hybrid. We'll have to go three uh, three days a week and two days a week from home. So three days a week, you visit which campus, Agnesh? Nagpur campus. Nagpur campus. Wonderful. Yeah. Lovely and wonderful to hear that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Agnesh. I'm looking forward to meet you. I would making uh, I would be making my visit to Nagpur absolutely to meet our uh, to, to to meet our friends who got jobs in various companies as data scientists and it'll be a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much, Agni. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Take care.